I'm Rosie, and I'm here with Daniel Taylor, up on top of North Mountain at the headquarters of Future Generations University. We're going to talk to you a little bit today about the upcoming certificate, Grow the Change You Wish to See, starting June 1st. So, Daniel, will you entertain me with some questions? Sure, let's go for it. This is an exciting opportunity for somebody who wants to make a big impact in their community. Absolutely. So, first off, can you tell us a little bit about what you're trying to do at Future Generations University? What's the university's mission? We want to give people the skills to improve their local communities wherever they might be around the world. And so this is a whole university that's focused on the specific issue of applied community change. How do we intentionally improve our community? Wow, that sounds like a really huge topic and something that a lot of people around the planet are, are working towards. So it's great to be able to provide the tools for someone to do that. Yeah, because there are big things happening in the world. Lots of ex changes, political leaders, climate, economic issues. And the question is, how does this impact my community and what can I do to have the community be sustainable, to have people working together, to do it ourselves because nobody's going to come and help us anymore in this world. We have to do it ourselves. So this certificate takes the skills that you need in order to deal with the big changes and compresses it all into a 12-week period. Great. So would you tell us a little bit more about what exactly students will be learning in the certificate course, Grow the Change You Wish to See? The course is designed into seven parts. So that the first part is how do you lead this? So most of us are just a person in our community. So how do we grow a team? Because alone we can't do it. Mm -hmm. So the first part is growing the team. The second part is where to begin. And so that shows us not where our needs are, but where our strengths in the community are, building from our successes. And the third part then is how do we learn more? How do we learn what the opportunities are for our team to build on our successes? The fourth thing then is we have to find out where the information is in the community. How do we gather the data? And then once we have begin to have that, and we need simple data. You know, I'm not talking about waiting two weeks. I want to get the information right now. The next part after that is how do we make the plan? And this is the fifth the task and skill we will learn, a plan that everybody can do. But it isn't a plan that I have to do. I get, want my whole community to come together around this. I want to hold my leaders accountable. I want to bring the people I disagree with into participating in this plan. And then the question is, how do we get the team to do it? <laughs> okay, we've got the plan. We've all had, a, had the meeting, and it's all there. We painted it on the side of a house or something. How do we do it? And then, then comes the last task. How do we do it better? So once we've done it one time, then we start it over again the next time better. That's what it's seven, seven lessons so, in 12 weeks. Wow, that's a lot of information. But it sounds really awesome to deliver seven complete steps for an entire cycle of community change that people can in apply right at home, right in their communities. Right, and you don't, the interesting thing about the way this is set up, it's based on 25 years of research, is that you don't need some money from the outside, you don't need to call in an expert, because coming to your community is knowledge and skills that allow you to use what you have. What should participants expect, and what is the cost? Well, the time commitment is how much time you have to give. This course is designed at multiple levels. So if you can just have a little bit of time, you can take it, the basic ideas. But if they're, those basic ideas are ones that you really want to learn more about, the course is designed so you can go deeper and deeper before you then move to the next lesson. And the cost is $150 to sign up. And then once you've signed up, if you want to get the deeper certificate, there is some additional cost. But that deeper certificate can provide academic credit, or it can provide just a greater learning opportunity. But you make the initial payment, and then once you've made that, based on the results that you're getting, you can get more and more. Hmm. And 
should the participants expect quizzes or homework assignments? If you find you learn best by having yourself tested, that is an option. If you are a person who doesn't want to commit to being exposed to a test, you can just click past that on the, on the thing. But the tests are really designed to be useful to you rather than external measurements. So if you say, am I really getting this idea? Then the test will help you to check on yourself to see if you are. Great. So what sort of participant was this course designed for? Who would benefit from taking it? Well, we have learned over time that you've got sort of three groups. And either, anybody from any one of these groups can join. Mm -hmm. So if you're just a community member who's committed to change, that's one, one group of people that can participate. A second one is a professional person. Let's say you're a doctor, or you're a lawyer, or you're a journalist, or you're a government uh, official um, that just wants to come into the community and help from sort of the outside in perspective because you're an expert. But then there's another type of group which are the leaders of the community. And that can be a business leader. You've got some resources you're trying to buy. You're a company leader and you want to provide your corporate funds and support or you are a government office in the ministry or department of health or education. You want to provide, learn how to engage the community. So you can come from the top down. So bottom up, outside in, top down, we're all going to have to work together. Yeah. Because communities can't do it on their own. We know government can't do it for us. The experts are going to come in there and they're not going to have to have no local reality. So whomever you are, you need to learn how to be a partner. So a blend of all those three perspectives Absolutely. is really what it takes for right. effective change to take root. I think one of the questions that we need to figure out on all of this is how to get local answers. Mm -hmm. Because typically everybody has an answer for you. But what we all want is answers for us. Yeah. And so what we have learned at Future Generations University over the years is that Every answer of change has to be localized for that community. And you have to bring global understanding to that local solution. Because what works in one town is different from what will work in the next town. And that localization process is really a learning process. We have to learn in each locale how to do this. Well, Daniel, thank you so much for explaining this is a really exciting learning opportunity, and I imagine that a number of students and alumni, community members, experts in the field will take interest in this course. You know, change is coming. There's nothing we're going to do to stop change. The question is, do you want to have it victimize you, or do you want to lead it to a better world. And the opportunities of today, wherever you are in the world, in a totalitarian dictatorship or in the most liberal democracy, the opportunities for everybody are ones of directing that change. And this is what this course is all about. Well, thank you so much. Again, I've been speaking with Daniel Taylor at Future Generations University on our upcoming certificate course, Grow the Change You Wish to See.